everybody, it is Tim with the Whittemore Group and Wednesday with the Whittemore Group. Today I'm going to answer some questions that I had uh, recently gotten, not too long ago. And they were asking, Tim, how do I purchase a foreclosure? What's, what's the deal with that? I heard those are really good deals. Well, that's, uh, that can be true. It can also be a nightmare. So uh, some things that I want to go over with you today are just the three different phases that you might be dealing with, whether you're on the one side of having to go through a foreclosure and what your options are there, and of course, purchasing it, trying to find a pretty good deal. Uh, the one thing that's really good with these foreclosures is there are opportunities to kind of move in and around. So number one is your pre-foreclosures. Number two is the actual auction, if it goes to auction. And then the third is the REO or bank owned property and when it gets to that phase. So let's just kind of walk real quick through what the whole foreclosure process is. So what happens is, is if you're the homeowner and something comes up and you're not making your payments, you don't have enough money, uh, you decide that you don't want to do this anymore or to get lost in the mail for a really long time, whatever the case is, uh, you start missing payments. And then after a long enough period of time, the lender is going to mail you a notice of default on the loan, right? Then after a certain amount of time, the lender will fire file for the foreclosure lawsuit. So they have their own lawyers that they use that the mortgage company uses in order to, you know, get their asset and get their money back. So you have to answer from the homeowner. You have to respond back to say yes, no, or however you want to want to uh, do that. Uh, there's usually in some states, these are an acceleration uh, to pay that off so they can call in the loan at any time and be like, hey, you need to pay this off in full or we're going through the foreclosure process. All right, so the lawsuit proceeds into the court. They usually give the judgment in favor of the actual lender. You have this whole time that you have a redemption period. Now, it really just depends on what state that you're in, whether it's the mortgagee and the mortgagor or if there's a third party that's also in there. Uh, there are a couple of states that have that too. It's a leaseholding state and they, oh, I forgot the other one. <laughs> Love live video. Uh, but there's a leaseholder and then there's a title, title state. Ah, I got it. Sweet. So it, depending on which one, we'll, we'll go with that proceeding. In any case, in that amount of time, you'll have to pay off, if you're the homeowner, pay off the entire balance in full plus fees and the other one is just the entire balance plus one other fee. So that will really just depend. All right, so say that everything goes through, still haven't paid, it's going into foreclosure process. Then they will give the notice of the public sale. You have the share of sale, also known as the auction. And then they do the confirmation hearing in the court. A homeowner's got to move out. And then the other person takes possession of the property, depending on which state, could be that day, could be whenever, okay? So let's talk again about the pre-foreclosure. So in the pre-foreclosure, that's that thing I was just talking about where it's just, hey, it's you haven't been making payments. Now, they put notices out, and that's how you know Zillow and some other websites find these pre-foreclosures and said, hey, this one might go into foreclosure, and that's why it kind of pops up on their map. Now, to get into the pre-foreclosure, if you're purchasing, that might be an opportunity for you to reach out to the other uh, person that owns a home and be like, hey, do you want to see if I could buy this outright and just pay what you owe on it? You get out scot-free, and then we kind of go from there, you know, plus fees. Uh, that's an opportunity to do that. Uh, if you're on the sales side and you're like, I don't know, you have a couple of options. You can talk to a real estate professional and most of the time they'll be able to say, hey, you've got enough equity that we can try to sell this and you can get out, pay off everything before this goes to court, <laughs> right? Uh, I've personally done that a couple of times and it's, it's a different, in, interesting game to do it, but you can do that um, if you're in pre-foreclosure. Uh, however, if not, then you're just going to have to wait it out, wait for them to go into the foreclosure, and then eventually they'll get a notice to evict you out of the house. But the free uh, pre-foreclosures, just know if you ask us, uh, us real estate professionals, and we're like, I'm not entirely sure, 
uh, because it could be anywhere from three to four months before it goes into the foreclosure process, or it could be up to a year. I mean, uh, you can read all the stats on there, but in, in reality, that's how long they've been taking. And sometimes the owner is able to figure it out with the bank, and then they, um, they're not in a pre-foreclosure anymore. So let's go back to the actual foreclosure auction. You want to get a pretty good deal? Well, auction might be your bet. Uh, going, going to auction is when they go through and then it's, depending on the state, it's usually two thirds, the actual volume. That's like the minimum or value of the house is the actual minimum that they're willing to take. And then you proceed to bid on top of that. Now, most of these don't happen at the house anymore. They're virtual. So you can go on online and go through one of these sites, or you can have your real estate uh, professional do this for you and act on your behalf. Just know that if you're going to do a auction, it's pretty risky. And if you got cash, well, the cash is going to be king here. So the cash is uh, most of the time winning out on these bids, all right, uh, for, for for the auction. Now, you're taking a big risk because not just materially, like, you know, we got to put on a new roof or something of that nature or the electrical shot. You also have to worry about title. Like uh, if there's if there's clouds on the title and you need to prove ownership, like you're gonna have to pay to get that cleared too. There's a lot of other things in addition to just the house getting fixed that you might need to look into. Uh, so the last one is the bank owned or REO, which is called real estate owned properties. So REOs. Now those are the ones where the bank has taken possession back of the house. And now they've hired a real estate professional to sell this house for them. Now, know that these are the ones that you're seeing that are available to purchase. Uh, know that most of the time, these are going to be um, as-is type properties. Sometimes they're willing, depending on where they're at and the advice of the realtor in that area or real estate professional, that they are going to fix the minimum that they need to get to up to a VA standard or up to an FHA standard. It will really just depend. And then you, you negotiate, you put these offers in. Most of these offers may be on a separate contract that you've never seen before. Uh, it's all these different things that, that you'll have to play with when it comes to getting real estate owned properties, bank owned properties. Now know that this is advantageous for you as a buyer because the bank is in the business of not to hold on to property, is to sell it to have the cash so that they can lend the cash back out. So those, those are the advantageous things about purchasing an REO property. Know that it is going to be as is. If you're not looking for something that's move-in ready, and you're looking for a deal and something you can live in and take care of that, then that's something you might want to look into. If you have any additional questions, make sure to leave it in the comments below. If you think that somebody else could use this information, please, please, please like and share this with them uh, so that they can have this as well. If you have any additional questions or something else that you'd like us to go over, please do comment below or go ahead and email us. Give us a call. I'm always looking for new content. This is coming out once a week, every week. All right. Well, we'll see you at the next one.